All right, guys. Uh, this question we're given that there's a bullet of mass 0.2 kilogram moving at 200 meter per second horizontally collides and penetrates into a wooden block 2 kilogram, wooden 2 kilogram block hanging from the ceiling. So, what's the maximum height to which the system would go? This is a very good question. It tests us on um, uh, on two concepts. The first one is the conservation of momentum, and the other one is the conservation of energy. This is how the system uh, of the situation rather looks like. There's a this nice and cozy box over here. Uh, this is two kilograms, and then there is a bullet over here that is trying to uh, that is uh, that that is coming from here, and that's going to penetrate in this block. Uh, and after penetration, the block and the and the bullet becomes a single unit. So after this. Uh, becomes a single unit. Uh, this bullet is inside it, and this total mass will obviously this is 0.2 kilogram, right? This is 0.2 kilogram, so this will become 2.2 kilogram. And obviously, after uh, the bullet hits the block, this entire system will have a tendency to go up and stop somewhere, and that's what they are interested in. That what is this height till which the system goes up and then it stops? So let's say this height is given by h. Now, in the scenarios one and two are probably A, B, A, A, B, C. So from A to B, momentum is conserved. And I think this is a perfectly inelastic collision, perfectly inelastic collision. Why is that? Because the objects stick together and they become a single unit. So I'm going to say that M1, V1 plus M2, V2 is equal to M1 plus M2 times some unknown V that we do not know. Uh, what is M1? That's bullet. So 0 0.2 times 200. M2 is 2, but the block is at rest, right? It's, it's hanging from the ceiling. So that's 0. M1 plus M2 is 2.2 and V is just V. I'm going to grab my calculator here. So 0 0.22, I think this will just become 40, right? 40 is equal to 2.2 V. Uh, dividing both sides with 2.2, I am going to get 18.18. 18. 18. 1.8 meter per second rounded to two decimal places. Um, now comes this is the situation from A to B. Now from B to C, I'm going to conserve energy because, uh, I mean, you might argue that there is a tension here. How can you conserve energy? That's right. There is a non-conservative force, but the tension is not doing any work, right? Because it is at 90 degree always at any point with respect to the motion. And at 90 degrees, the work formula, which is Fd cos 90, cos 90 is 0. So it's not doing any work, so the energy is conserved. So I'm going to say that the total energy at B, total mechanical energy at B is equal to total mechanical energy at C. At B, I'm going to take the ground level as the reference point. So if the block is at the ground level, obviously there's no potential. There's definitely a kinetic, which is half total mass times V square, which we just found as 18.18. And at C, it stops, right? Because that's when it will attain the maximum height. Uh, so the maximum height, the kinetic energy is zero and the maximum height is mgh. So I'm going to write m g, let's take g as 10, h is just unknown plus zero. Right, I think I'm going to solve this. So uh, the left side, I think these two are also cancelled, but it's fine. If you don't understand why that's cancelled, I'll just do the left side separately and the right side separately. 18.18 square, 363.56 is the left side and the right side is 22 edge. So just divide both sides with 22 and I should have 16.52 as my final answer. Since everything was an SI unit, this is in kilogram, this is in meter per second. There is no, uh, obviously my final answer will also be an SI unit, which is meters. So it should be option B. Hope that makes sense.